And he owe me. I just sent this month's child support payment. Wow, a day early? I'm traveling for business time tomorrow. I, I wanted to make sure I arrived in time. Oh, okay. And I see you're as busy as ever. You never change, do you? You always working is why I got tired of being with you. And also why you lost custody of Sandra. Honestly, it still doesn't make sense to me. You cheated on me, you broke up our marriage. Why did you get custody of Sandra? The judge clearly thought you were too focused on work to raise Sandra properly. I guess you do have a point. I traveled a lot for my work. My parents have already passed, my sister is married and lives in another state. I don't even have any relatives who could help me out. I wanted to make sure Sandra has a good life. That's why I agreed to overpay child support. I'm giving you $2,500 a month. Double what you were legally entitled to. Yeah, your salary is basically your only redeeming quality. Thanks to you, we're doing quite well. Much appreciated. <laughs> Make sure you use it for Sandra. I know, I know. By the way, you're going to get Sandra a cell phone? She's old enough to have her own. Why do you ask? She's a sophomore in high school. All the girls are age of phones. It's the only way they can keep in contact with one another. I figured Sandra might be missing out on a social life without me. She's not really interested in having a phone. Really? It could be good to have one if she ever got into trouble. I thought it would be for the best if she had one. Is that all you want? I have to go to work now. Can this conversation be over? I'll think about the phone. Okay, thanks. Give my love to Sandra. Hey, Dad. Sorry to message you so late. It's me. Sandra. Sandra? Is it you, really? Yeah. I found your number in Mom's phone. Oh, I see. I guess your mom finally gave you a phone then. Yeah. Mom got me one when I got into high school. All the other girls had one. And I guess Mom was hearing from a lot of friends that she should get me one. So, she wasn't really thrilled about it, though. Oh, well, I'm glad you finally got one. Thanks for messaging me. I'm glad to talk to you, Dad. But wait, last time I talked to your mom, she said that you weren't interested in getting a phone. Did you change your mind? I think she probably just didn't want us talking to each other. You think so? I've had a phone for a while now, Dad. She was lying to you. Well, I guess I can see why she would feel that way. She would probably get jealous if you were talking to me without her knowing. Hey, Dad. About custody. I'm living with Mom right now, but that's only until I'm 15, right? Then I can choose who I want to live with, can't I? Yeah, that's right. Wow, you were listening pretty well during the divorce. I want to live with you, Dad. You do? All I need is somewhere to sleep. Anywhere is fine. I'll work to earn my own money for food, and I'll clean around the house. Sandra, are you okay? I think you might need to help me out with the paperwork and stuff for transferring schools, but I'll do as much as I can by myself, okay? Sandra, slow down. You're aware how far I live, right? You're in New York and I'm in Ohio. Yeah, I know. I'm fine living anywhere, Dad. I don't mind moving. All I need is for you to say it's okay. Sandra, why are you asking me about this all of a sudden? Well, Mom got a new boyfriend. Boyfriend, huh? I mean, Mom's single, so it's whatever. She can date whoever she wants, even if she has a daughter. But she kicks me out whenever he comes over to our house. No? I understand, and that's partially why I go to work as often as I can after school. But he's staying overnight more often lately. Wait, she kicks you out of the house overnight? Yeah, but there's a nice older lady living across the street who lets me stay with her, so that's not a huge problem. No, that's a really big problem. Also, I'm working three jobs, but we're still having trouble paying for food. I've lost 30 pounds this last year. You what? I'm giving her more than enough in child support. You are? She said that you haven't paid any child support since I started high school. What? She said your company went bankrupt, so you couldn't pay anymore. That's not true at all. My company is doing great. I've been paying her $2,500 a month, same as before. You're paying that much? I don't believe it. She's been lying to you about child support. What is she doing with that money? Like I said, Dad, I don't want to live here anymore. Mom's not here right now, so I thought this might be my only chance to talk to you about this. 
I understand everything, Sandra. Let's meet up and talk in person. I have the day off tomorrow. I'll take the first flight there in the morning. Can you meet me at the airport without mom noticing? Yeah, I think I can. Okay, wait for me at the arrival gate. Gotcha. I can't wait to see you, Dad. Hey, Dad. Thanks for yesterday. No problem, Sandra. Where are you staying tonight? My teacher's house. She said she talked to you about our situation and said I could stay here whenever I want. So here I am. LOL. Glad to hear. Well, lucky you got placed with such a trustworthy teacher. Tell her I said thanks again. Will do. Okay, so just like we planned, we'll aim to get you out of there during summer break, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much for helping me, Dad. I know you're really busy with work. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem at all. You're my daughter, and family always comes first. You can rely on me for anything. Thanks, Dad. I love you. Matt, what's going on? What did you say to Sandra? What's your problem? She says she doesn't want to live with me, that she wants to move in with you. It sounds like you've been talking to each other an awful lot, Matt. How dare you? I am her mother. I have custody of her. When she's 15, she can choose for herself, Naomi. What? Don't you remember? The judge said we should consider transferring custody to me once Sandra's 15. Wait. You're always traveling for business, though. You can't take care of her. You might be financially capable, but you'll be gone all the time. What will you do while she's home alone? About that, my company is creating a new headquarters here in Ohio. So I can keep doing my same job without having to travel as much. I'll be able to look after her just fine. And my sister and her husband are moving back into town, so when I'm gone, she can stay with them. There won't be any problem with her living with me. No way. Not to mention you're in no position to be objecting to her choice. What's that supposed to mean? I've been sending you $2,500 a month in child support, Naomi. What have you been doing with that money? Uh, well, you know, the usual stuff. Her tuition, transportation, tutor, supplies. She's going to a good private school. You know that costs money, don't you? Naomi, you know we've been talking to each other, Naomi. I know everything. How long are you going to keep lying to me? Uh, oh, um... You said she was going to an expensive private school. So you can imagine my shock when Sandra told me what was actually going on. She's going to a public school. She rides a bike to school, so she doesn't even need any transport. She doesn't have a tutor, and on top of that, you lied to her and said I wasn't paying child support. You made her take three jobs to pay for living expenses. I was at a loss for words when I met her the other day for the first time in three years. She was nothing but skin and bones. She's lost 30 pounds when she should be growing. She's lost 30 pounds when she should be growing. Do you have any idea what you've been putting her through? Oh, come on. She's just on a diet. Girls her age are sensitive about their weight. I'm not finished. What's this to hear about you kicking her out of the house at night so you can be alone with your boyfriend? What the hell is wrong with you, Naomi? Oh, my God. She told you about that? Yeah, she did, but that's not all. I hired a private detective. You what? I know you've been spending my child support payments on your boyfriend, Naomi. Oh, no. I also understand that he's there with you right now. So I bet Sandra's been kicked out of the house as usual. Don't worry, though. I've already arranged a safe place for her to stay. She's never coming back to you again, Naomi. What? Why not? It's Sandra's choice. I'm speaking to my lawyer tonight about taking over custody of her. You can't do that. What am I supposed to do with her child support payments? Yeah, the PI said you'd quit your job to spend more time with your boyfriend. But I'll be suing you to recover every single penny that you spent on your boyfriend or yourself instead of her. So you better find yourself a job and quick. Oh, God, no. How much is that going to be? I'll have to talk to my lawyer for a more accurate calculation, but based on what I've heard from Sandra, you're looking at something around $60,000. Sixty grand? Roughly, yeah, like I said. My lawyer's working on it. You hired a lawyer? Yep, but I recommend you do the same. Matt, wait just one second, please. I don't understand any of this. What should I do now? 
Ask your lawyer. Goodbye, Naomi. I planned the timing for when Sandra's school went into summer vacation. This way, there wouldn't be any risk of Naomi coming to get her while she was at school. My former in-laws apparently talked some sense into her. So the custody transfer went smoothly. You should have seen the look on my face when the judge pounded his gravel. We found a great school for her in the area and got her admitted just in time for the start of the new school year. Naomi, well, her parents cut her off. She went into debt to pay off the money she owed me. When her boyfriend learned where she was getting her money from, he dumped her. With no one to support her and nowhere to go, she had to leave New York. Last I heard, she was working at a dive bar in some podunk little town. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.